Before participating in the following activity, there are some important things we want you to do. Please remember to practice physical distancing of at least six feet from anyone that is outside of your home. Wear comfortable and proper shoes. Make sure you have an open space around you with no objects or obstacles in the way. Use the proper equipment or alternative objects you can find in your home. And last, stay hydrated and have fun. Hi, welcome to this week's virtual summer practice for the sport of bocce. Today we're going to um, have some drills on throwing and then we're going to play a game of crokinole bocce. Some of you might remember the game of crokinole from maybe you have one up at your cottage. There's a target in the middle and everyone is seated around the, around the board and flicks their little markers into the middle. We're going to do that on a, my front lawn playing bocce. What we need to set up, of course, are some uh, we have our hat and I have my water bottle back there. I do have eight balls, uh, a set of bocce of eight balls and that's what I'm going to use today. If you have to be inside in a um, indoor area, your living room for example, you can move your coffee table to the side and move your couch back. Um, you can use rolled up socks uh, or you can use maybe even tin cans. Um, and uh, for our Polina, the bocce ball, the, the Polina ball is quite small. We're going to use a softball because we can see it better in the grass. So I have my eight balls and a Polina. I'm going to use two Polinas today, but you'll see how we use that. Right now, of course, we're doing our warm up, which is starts with getting some blood flowing. Um, just a walk, a nice brisk walk around the block. Gets our blood going. And when we get back to the um, to where we're going to be playing, my front of my house, then we can do some um, proper warm-up exercises. Now we're going to start in to our dynamic warm-up before we start our drills. So now we've had a bit of a warm-up with a walk and we'll get into some exercises. So we'll just um, we'll start from the top and work our way down and we'll pay attention to our arms and to our hips as we play bocce for throwing and for all that lunging that we're gonna do. So we'll just roll, gently roll our head side to side, just falling down in front of us from one side to the next. I'm on six, maybe we'll do eight. That's great. We'll do some shoulder rolls. We'll roll backwards. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's roll forwards. We're going to do some arm circles. So start. Uh, we'll start small with our palms up. We're gonna we're, um, circling forward. We're gonna get a little bit bigger. We're gonna eventually get bigger. And as you get really big, you might be more comfortable almost with a swimming motion. Now we're gonna go backwards. And we're gonna make it a little smaller. And then we're going to sync them up together, palms up, and little circles, painting little circles. There we go. So now we're going to take an arm, shake it off. We're going to take one arm and stretch it across and just stretch out the back of our arm. Our hand is resting on our shoulder, patting us on the back for coming out today. Do your bocce practice. You're going to shake that out, you're going to come over, pat yourself on the other back. That's great, shake it out, up and over, hold the elbow, see how far down the, the back that your fingers can go.
and we'll shake that out and then we'll do the other side great shake it out <clears throat> now we'll just do some um, some hip rotation so just in a big circle with your hips not too fast keep your knees bent a little bit I'm at about seven and other direction Um, some dynamic leg swings now. I'm going to go find myself a partner in a tree and we're just gonna we're just gonna swing our legs let the weight of our leg have it come through. I think I didn't start counting. That feels like about seven and eight. And then we'll take the other leg And again, do about eight. Okay, maybe we'll do some lunges as well. So we'll just um, step one foot in front and then the other foot. So down and up and down. And I think this is eight. And now we're gonna go side to side with our lunges. So out and center and out and center. And eight. And maybe we'll um, work on our hamstrings a little bit and do some sweeps. I like to do my sweeps backwards. And kind of walking backwards. Two, three, four. And just to remind our um, five, come on, is that our front foot goes on our heel and our back foot kind of stays there and bend, you bend the back knee a little bit. And your hands just come down to sweep. You maybe take a couple little steps in between. There we go. And if we wanted to do some high knees, we're just gonna we're gonna coordinate the arms. So we'll go up with our knee and down with our arms. That's eight, we'll go to sixteen. Okay, now we're gonna reverse it to a kick your butt kind of thing. And we're just gonna do it on the spot. So if you're at home and you're doing this inside, this is something that you can do on the spot. Doesn't take a lot of room to do this kind of warm up. I lost count again. Two more. Okay, maybe we'll just do some general trunk stretching and we're not going to stop. We're going to do it in a continuous motion. So over and out and down, pick up some grass in the middle, other leg, full cross, over and stretch up and down. Okay, let's do the same thing in reverse. So over, out, down, to the middle, to the side, out, over, and up, and down. There. I think I feel pretty warmed up to do some bocce, uh, bocce drills. So let's head on over to the start of our court. Today I did 
something a little interesting. I've got a polina at either end of my cord. Like I said, I used I used a bigger, brighter polina so we can see it in the grass. And I've got one at this end. And then I took 10 paces, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, to my other polina. Again, a big bright ball. It's a softball. And since the water bottle's here, let's take a quick drink break after our warm up. Good. So today's drills, I've got four bocce balls here, um, ready to go. And what I've done is I've put a length of masking tape around the center of it. And this allows us to see how straight the ball will roll and allows us to place our middle finger on the tape and so that we know that we're releasing it as straight as we can. So we're going to do a palm up delivery and then we're gonna do a palm down delivery and then we're gonna do a log shot where the shot goes up in the air. So um, at 10 meters, 10 paces, 10 meters away, that's, that's a fair distance on grass. So we're gonna need some weight behind our throw. So let's just give it a shot. Again, I'm going to have my finger, my middle finger on the tape and my baby finger and my thumb are on the sides. And I'm gonna just deliver it as straight as I can. Kids keep an eye on the tape and see if it keeps up and down like that. Well, the tape went all over the place, but I had some good weight behind it. So again, we're going to throw all four balls the same way. Palm up, middle finger along the tape. And that was all four balls. We'll go down to the other end and throw this way. Of course, we're playing on grass, um, so that will add to it if you're playing on clay or maybe if you're using um, a smoother ball on a smoother surface, maybe in your hallway on carpet or something like that, maybe you'll see that it's a, a bit of a straighter throw. Um, and that's part of the fun of bocce is the, the surface can always be a fun challenge to work with. started out pretty straight. Oh. So we're going to do this one again there and back and then we're going to switch to a palm down delivery. That was a nice straight one, actually. You could see the tape didn't wobble too much. So that's what we're looking for. So one more of this, uh, this kind of shot. Again, a nice, smooth, straight, feeling the tape all the way down. And I hit a bit, big mound of uh, weeds, I think. That's what happens. Okay, so our next shot that we're going to practice, now that you've mastered the underhand, or sorry, the uh, palm up delivery, 
the next one we'll practice, our palm is going to be up. And as we, um, as we deliver the ball, it's more of a, almost a throw. You're not rolling it as much. Let's see what we can do with that. Not too many people do this one, but it's good to practice and have in your back pocket. So, um, with the palm down throw, you can still think about the tape and where your finger is to get it as straight as you can. I will share with you that I don't often use that shot and I thought I'd bring it into today's practice and once I got the knack of it even after a couple of throws it takes um, it takes a bit of strength to get it off to begin with but actually I would suggest that this could be a pretty neat throw to have in your arsenal in your competition so a good thing to practice even if you don't use it that often so let's go again with it and you don't have to worry so much about hitting some um, hitting the grass that's uneven. You can get it that much further without any obstacles. Wow, I think I like this shot. Let's practice it one more time. Okay. And again, I am keeping in mind where my finger is with the tape. In competition, you wouldn't have the tape, but it's good to practice. We did a we did a delivery of palms up, rolling the ball. We did delivery of palms down, kind of lobbing the ball. And now we're going to put an obstacle in our way, as if maybe an opponent's or teammate's ball was in the way of between us and the Polina. So I'm going to put my water bottle up here. And we're going to try to get our ball over the water bottle before it starts rolling. I'm going to try some palm up and some palm down. So we'll start with the palm up. I'm going to try with palm down, which is a lob to begin with. So that's not too much of a problem to get over our obstacle.
practice this one more with the palm up delivery. Get past it so that it, because I think that was the one that needed more practice among my shots. There we go. One more return round. interesting using the obstacle. Now we're going to get set up for our game of uh, Bachi Crocodile. Okay, so now we've done our delivery drills. We're going to play a version of um, an adaptation to Bachi called Bachi Crocodile. And um, not unlike the table game, we have a target in the middle, which is our large polina ball. And the space that I have is a small lawn and I've taken three steps in every direction and I have eight balls in a circle. Again, you can do this in your living room in a smaller space with balls of socks. You could do this on a larger uh, green space area in your neighborhood. You could take 10 steps out and make a larger crocodile area. So um, we're gonna start, basically we just find a start, one of our balls, and we're just gonna start throwing them towards the middle. This is our short shot game. You can choose your underhead or palm down, your palm up or your lob shot. I'm just going to roll. We're going to make our way around the circle. Try to get very close to the polina. My lawn slopes, so that gives a bit of extra challenge. Because sometimes I'm throwing uphill and sometimes I'm throwing downhill. If you have other members in your household, you might like to play. You could each take different colors of your balls and each throw a ball or two or four and play against each other or in teams, depending on how big your family unit is. So I got one ball that wasn't too far away. Let's set that up once more and just play one more game like this. You don't have to rush, you can take your time. <laughs> and when you play this, this game, you, your, your own balls end up being your own, your own obstacles in front of the ball you want to get to. In front of the ball. too strong. Always think about the shot you made and how the next shot can be better. <laughs> and our last ball. There we go. So that's an adaptation of bocce that is fun to play on your own or with others in your household, bocce croconol. Thanks very much for joining us for today's virtual practice. Enjoy your training.